So let's get to it. Um, today we're going to uh, basically replace the whole electrical system. That sounds really complicated, right, Ray? But it's not. <laughs> but it's surprisingly not. And if something on your electrical bike happens, we can literally mail you an entire uh, you know, electric component system for the bikes, which is four pieces. You've got a controller here. Uh, that's this little piece on the bike here. Um, you've got this uh, wiring harness, which seems just tiny, but that's actually the harness that sort of shoots the whole uh, you know, bike here. And then you've got a uh, LCD display, we'll get that out in a second, but that's uh, sort of what you're reading when you're looking at the bike. And then in this big box here is the rear tire. So we've made this a modular bike. So basically the motor is inside the rear tire here, and the tire, everything, you can just pull that whole thing off. You unplug it here, pull the whole thing off, grab a new one, put it right back on, plug it in, and you're good to go. So you replace those four things, and you have basically a brand new electrical system on your bike. That's correct. You're going to need a few tools to do this job. Uh, first, we've got this little tiny guy here. This is a three millimeter socket Allen. Uh, you can also get away with a little tiny uh, right angle ball in socket. Um, we're going to need a four millimeter as well socket or a little tiny ball in socket. A, uh, a wrench to remove the rear wheel. You can either use an 18 millimeter wrench or an adjustable crescent wrench, um, as well as a roll of electrical tape and a new or used brake cable. So first thing we're going to start off with is um, the uh, the electrical front, uh, the screen assembly, and unwrapping the wires. So Tower puts these really great little covers on all of their electrical. Uh, so we're gonna just pull that back and expose the connectors. And this is where you'll do a lot of the initial troubleshooting of your electrical system. So um, there's several different things that could happen. Say your bike isn't going, or uh, the screen isn't coming on, or you have some sort of an error code. The first place you're gonna start is this, these four connectors here. Um, so say your bike isn't going, it doesn't want to go, first thing you might try is disconnecting the two plugs coming from the brake cable. Yeah, I want to jump in here for yeah. one second. Like a lot of times the reason customers come to us and they say, hey, my bike's not working, or yeah. I'm getting this weird error code. That's the first mm -hmm. notification that something is wrong with your, your system. One error code we get is a lot is called an error 30. And basically what that means is, tell me if this is right, Ray, but it's essentially your LCD screen is not communicating with your control. That's correct. Right? Yes. So that's kind of a problem on the front side of the bike. And there's, there's four or five different error codes. Some, they will tell you, okay, there's a problem on the rear side of the bike, problem on the front side of the bike. With like an error 30 code, you got your four electrical components in this system. And as Ray has explained it to me, you take, you start at the front. You start troubleshooting by your first take off the LCD screen. Well, first you just make sure all the connections are right. My that can be the easy thing, right? My first initial troubleshoot is the brakes. So, okay. I, so if there's ever an issue with the bike, the first thing I do is disconnect the brakes and see if the bike will work. If that's not going to now, so if there's an error code and you disconnect the brakes, will that sometimes clear the Sometimes, code? yeah, it depends okay. on what the error code is because you can generate an error code by holding down the brake while you power on the bike. Because basically, what that's saying is that this switch is disconnected and it's telling the controller to disconnect the power from the motor. So, why that's happening is on a traditional bike, you just have mechanical brakes basically a lever and a wire that does something, you know, some clamp down here on your brakes. With electrical bikes, they're kind of tied into the motor to different degrees, right, Ray? They are. The, the brake has a cutoff switch. Basically, what it does is it tells the controller to cut power to the motor as soon as you pull the brake. That way, your, your motor isn't powering against your brakes while you're trying to stop. Okay, so I mean, that's a critical thing here. Um, what he's unwrapping here is you've got one, two, three, two, con two connections on either side. So you've got four total connections here. And these are kind of tricky connections when you look at them really close. There's like little arrows, you've got to line them up. And there's little prongs, and you've got to get those perfectly seated in there. It's not uh, you know, totally intuitive how to do that. But yes, it is, it is important to line up the errors whenever you're reconnecting your connections on all points of the bike. So now we've got all the little wrap off here. Um, we're going to get into the screen. So we have the screen plug here. You can, you can unplug that. Uh, this, this is going to be the simplest fix for error code 30. Unplug this, plug a new screen in, power on the bike, check error code 30. 
error code 30 still persists, then there is potentially a problem in the wiring harness. So we're going to just... So let's, let's stop there. So say I had to replace this. How do I replace this? So there's a little tiny screw on the back. Um, this is the LCD is that we would LCD. be replacing. There's just one screw. I believe it's three and a half or three. This is three and a half. Come around my eye here so they can, they can see that bit. This is the three millimeter. And there's just the one screw here. You unscrew this guy. Remove the screw. So here's how your LCD display is going to come. Uh, it's just in a box like this. You pull it out. That's the entire thing there. Remove the LCD. You kind of see that? You're just taking that one off, swapping this one off. Take the new one and put it, remove the screw. A lot of times if, um, you know, we're sort of doing technical troubleshooting because we're a, you know, a direct consumer uh, e-bike company. People that are working on them aren't so familiar with it. So we, we tend to just sort of oversend you stuff. You take off the other, the bad stuff or the existing stuff and just send it back to us and we'll troubleshoot it on our side. But you, you uh, can just basically swap out pieces. We've designed the bike to be very modular. Um, so you can work on it yourself or any local mechanic can do it for you. So now we've replaced the, the screen. Very simple installation. Um, the other, the, the last of the four plugs is the throttle. So Ray, I want to I just hammer in on that point yes. there. So literally, if I had an error, um, the Tower Electric Bike sends me this piece. Yes. I just take that off, plug that back in, That's I'm right. back and going. Yeah, and just it seems make sure like you're little fits. arrows in the pins, and there's even a little internal pin in the plug that lines the plug up. So as long as you put this plug back together correctly, uh, that, should, that should... And these are color-coded, yeah. too. You notice the brakes are red, this one's green. All four of these plugs are slightly different. You cannot mix them up. Uh, they, it's just not possible. They won't go together. And yes, like Stefan said, they're color-coded. Uh, they're pen-aligned. So it's very uh, difficult to, to actually make an incorrect connection. So, okay, so that's, that's component one of the electrical system, the LCD screen. So what he's done here is just replace that, plug it back in, and you're going to fire it back up, test it, and just see if you get error codes, right? That's correct, yeah. 